The development of modern technology poses tasks for engineers related to the calculations, design, production and operation of various machines and mechanisms. They are used in construction, in transport, in the textile industry and in other areas of the national economy. In all machines, the transfer of motion from the engine to the actuator is carried out by a transfer mechanism. Depending on the functions performed and working conditions, transfer mechanisms of various operating principles and design solutions are used. The most progressive gears include planetary gear mechanisms. They can significantly reduce the overall dimensions and weight of the machines. The simplest gear mechanisms consist of two gears with fixed axles. And planetary mechanisms have gears with movable axles. A gear wheel with a movable geometric axis is a satellite. And the rotating link in which the satellite axis is installed is the driver. There may be several satellites in planetary mechanisms. The satellites rotate around their geometric axis and at the same time move along with the driver. The fixed geometric axis of the driver is called the main axis. Gears, the axes of which coincide with the main axis, are called central. The simplest planetary mechanism has one leading link. The leading link can be a driver or a satellite. Planetary mechanisms with two or more leading links are called differential mechanisms or differentials. According to the class of, the central wheels of planetary gears denote the letters K and the driver is ASH. So, for example, in 2KS transmissions, the main links are two central wheels and a driver. Planetary transmissions of type 2KS are diverse in their design. They can be manufactured with cylindrical and conical gears. These mechanisms have become the most widespread in technology. One example of the use of such gears is an aircraft engine gearbox. In planetary gears of the 3K type, the main links are three central wheels. And the driver only serves to install satellites. The next coaxial planetary gear to the AC at the satellite's torque is transmitted by means of a double articulated coupling to the shaft B. The angular velocity of the shaft is equal to the angular velocity of the satellite. So, three types of coaxial planetary gears are used. 
For misaligned planetary transmissions, the satellite is the leading link. An example of a misaligned planetary gear may be the rotation mechanism of the excavator platform. So far, we have considered the simplest schemes of planetary gears with 1 and 2 degrees of freedom. More complex transmission schemes are also used. Kinematic analysis of planetary mechanisms is performed using the method of motion reversal. The planetary mechanism, together with the rack, is given an additional rotation with the speed of the driver, but in the opposite direction. In this case, the driver becomes stationary, and the planetary gear turns into a gear with fixed axes, for which it is easy to determine the relationship between the angular velocities of the links. The gear ratio from one wheel to the other of the suspended driver is the ratio of the angular velocities of the central wheels in reverse motion. It is inversely proportional to the number of teeth of these wheels. With external engagement, a minus sign is placed in front of the ratio of the numbers of teeth, indicating that the wheels rotate in opposite directions. With internal engagement, the wheels rotate in one direction and do not put a minus sign. The indexes in the gear ratio designation show the following. Superscript. Which link is stopped? and the subscripts for which links the ratio of angular velocities is determined. In 2KS type transmissions with internal and external gearing, the gear ratio of the suspended driver is negative. In planetary gears, the set angular velocities of any two links determine the speed of the third link. An example of summation of angular velocities can be the drive of a limit belt machine. The sign and numerical value of the gear ratio of the suspended driver significantly predetermine the kinematic capabilities and quality indicators of transmission. Let's show by example the kinematic transmission capabilities with a negative gear ratio in suspended water. Turning into a department, the gear ratios in absolute value are one more than suspended water. Such a transmission has smaller overall dimensions. Of all the planetary transmissions, it is the most widespread. The gear ratio can be increased if two mechanisms are connected in series. In this case, it is equal to the product of the gear ratios of each of the mechanisms. In planetary gears with two pairs of wheels with external teeth, the value of the gear ratio suspended was positive. The direction of rotation of the driven and driving wheels is the same. If this ratio is close to 1, then such transmissions have great kinematic capabilities. With the specified numbers of teeth, for one full revolution, the driven gear wheel will turn only one ten thousandth of a revolution, since the total gear ratio is ten thousand.
but such a transmission has a very low efficiency. When turning, the wheels of the car rotate at different speeds and go through different paths. Is this achieved? The drive shaft transmits rotation from the car engine through a gear pair to the driver, and then through satellites to the bevel gears connected to the wheels of the car. At the same speed of rotation of the wheels of the car, the driver, together with the satellites and the central gears, rotates as one. At the moment of turning the car, the speed of one central gear wheel of the differential increases, and the other decreases in comparison with the speeds of these wheels during the rectilinear movement of the car. This speed difference is provided by the rotation of the satellites around their axes. The loss of mechanical energy in the gears consists mainly of losses in engagement. Losses in bearings and costs during stirring and oil spraying, that is, the same as in gears with fixed axles. But due to the difference in the relative speeds of the links, losses in planetary and conventional transmissions may differ significantly. The efficiency of planetary gears is determined experimentally or by calculation as the ratio of the power on the driven shaft to the power on the drive shaft. The efficiency can also be calculated as the ratio of the torque on the driven shaft, taking into account friction losses to the torque without taking into account friction losses. The torque of the driven link depends on the gear ratio. When determining the moment, taking into account friction losses, another multiplier is introduced, equal to the efficiency of the suspended driving mechanism. The ratio of these moments determines the efficiency of the planetary mechanism. This is how the efficiency of a mechanism with one fixed central link is determined. In planetary gears with one external and one internal gearing, the efficiency is higher compared to a transmission with fixed axles. In coaxial planetary gears with cylindrical gears, the conditions of alignment, proximity and assembly must be met. The distance between the axles of the two pairs of gears should be the same. The alignment condition can be expressed in terms of the number of teeth of the wheels of the planetary mechanism. In planetary gears, the distance between adjacent satellite axes should be greater than the sum of the radii of the circle of the vertices of the satellite teeth. These are the neighborhood conditions. The more satellites there are, the smaller the gear sizes can be, since the load is distributed in parallel to several gears. When assembling the transmission, one satellite determines the position of the central wheels, and therefore the rest of the satellites. If the number of teeth is chosen incorrectly, the transmission is not assembled.
Therefore, the assembly conditions include certain requirements for the ratio of the number of teeth of the transmission wheels. Planetary transmissions are different in their characteristics. Single row planetary gear 2K ash is characterized by ease of manufacture and high efficiency. Most planetary transmissions are performed according to this scheme. The planetary mechanism with a two shaft satellite allows you to obtain large gear ratios with high efficiency and small overall dimensions. A transmission with bevel gears is usually used as a differential. A transmission with two internal gears and a leading driver allows you to get large gear ratios, but with low efficiency. The 3K type planetary gear with three central wheels is the most compact. It allows you to get large gear ratios. But with a high gear ratio, the efficiency decreases. Transmission of the KSHV type can have relatively large gear ratios. It is compact, but requires very precise manufacturing to obtain high efficiency. To transfer rotation from the satellite to the driven shaft, a mechanism of parallel cranks is usually used. The wide possibilities of planetary mechanisms predetermine a variety of areas of their application. A progressive solution is the embedding of planetary gears in the actuators of machines. In such cases, excavator rotors, winch drums, wheel hubs are used as the transmission housing. An interesting example is the embedding of a planetary mechanism into the wheel of a timber loader. The gears are also embedded with caterpillar track sprockets of the groove digger. Similar design solutions are used in automotive equipment. Thus, planetary gears are used in cases where compact units of machines with low mass and high efficiency or mechanisms with a large gear ratio are needed.